Let's state the major theorem involving bases and then turn that theorem into a major definition. This is not the major theorem. It's a lemma that's going to let us prove the major theorem easily. If V has a basis of N vectors, then any set containing more than N vectors is linearly dependent. I give a very formal proof of this in my notes, but the formality risks sort of concealing the actual argument, which is as follows. In Rn, any set of more than n vectors vectors is linearly independent. We proved that when we first discussed linear independence. If V has a basis consisting of n vectors, then V is isomorphic to Rn. The coordinate transformation is an isomorphism. From a vector space point of view, isomorphism, isomorphic spaces are identical. So there is no vector vector space method of distinguishing V from Rn. Well, if V contained a set containing more than N linearly independent vectors, when we know that Rn cannot that would be a vector space way of distinguishing V from Rn. Ergo, V does not contain a linearly independent set containing more than N vectors. With this lemma out of the way, proving the theorem we actually care about will be a piece of cake. A vector space cannot have two different sized bases. If V has one basis with n vectors in it, then every basis of V has N vectors in it. Proof. By way of contradiction, suppose V has two bases of different sizes. Call the size of the smaller basis N, then the larger basis has more than n vectors. The lemma we just looked at says that this set is dependent. And that is a contradiction. We cannot have a linearly dependent basis. Linear independence is part of the definition of being a basis. So we have this theorem, and this theorem is going to give us a definition. In fact, two definitions. 
Suppose a vector space has a finite basis, then it is finite dimensional. Now, if it has a finite basis, then every basis contains the same number of vectors. The number of vectors in a basis is called the dimension of the vector space. I said it the beginning of the video, and I'll say again, this is a major definition of linear algebra. Obviously, you're expected to know all the material that we teach in this class, but especially get this definition down quickly. There is one kind of boring exception to this. Boring because the vector space is uninteresting and we never look at it, but the trivial vector space consisting of the zero vector and nothing else. Well, the basis of this vector space has one vector in it, the zero vector. In spite of its basis having one vector, this vector space is said to be zero dimensional.